Hey guys, Gus here. I'm the co-host of Dive Talk and I'm also a cave diver and a scuba instructor. And in addition to being a dive professional, I'm a massive fan of Shearwater computers. I actually own every single model that is available for sale today. I have a Terek, I have a Peregrine, a Nerd 2, a Petrol 2, and a Perdix AI. I love them, I use them often, uh, every single one of my computers. And today I wanted to share my top 10 tips when it comes to maintenance and operation of Shearwater computers. Let's go. If you own one of the sheer water computers that uses a AA battery like this Perdix or the Petrol 2, it is recommended that if you're not going to be diving for about four weeks, that you remove the battery inside the computer. This is to minimize the chances of leakage from the battery. And every time I remove the cap, I always take some time to analyze the O-rings, make sure that everything looks good. And we will be talking about caps and O-rings in a little bit. Also, when you're using batteries, don't use alkaline batteries. And it doesn't really matter what brand they are. So you can see this one is a Duracell, which is a very, you know, um, common battery out there that people think is, you know, high quality. This is a, uh, let me get closer to the camera. This is an alkaline battery and you can see how it leaked. This was, let's see if I can get it to focus. Nope, it's not focusing at all. But this battery leaked really bad. It was, I think this was inside a flashlight actually for a couple of months. And once I opened it, it was already leaking. So alkaline batteries are really bad. Shearwater actually recommends that you use lithium batteries, like this Energizer Ultimate Lithium battery that I have right here. This is actually the one that came installed with my Perdix AI when I sent it back for maintenance. And the same thing they did with my Petrol 2. So I sent it out for maintenance and it came with a battery. So you know, every time you send it for annual maintenance, they will uh, replace those O-rings on the cap and they will also give you a brand new battery. Also, when it comes to AA batteries, don't use any UK or Chinese made saft batteries like this one I'm holding right here. Unless is a saft battery that it was made in France. This one that I'm holding happens to be one of them, an LS14500 uh, saft battery. And the reason for that is that UK and Chinese made SAFT batteries have been linked to sudden drops in voltage that makes the computers reboot. Like sometimes in the middle of the dive, your computer will just reboot all of the sudden and kind of lose everything it was tracking, uh, you know, up to that point. So, you know, the French made SAFT batteries like this one, it's, it hasn't been linked to the same issue, but I would just say just avoid SAFT batteries altogether if you can. That way you play it safe, but if you have some of these 14500 LS Saft mating friends, and you can see it, it's right at the top, it says mating friends, um, you'll be okay, but try to avoid them if you can. Every time you install a new battery on a Shearwater computer, you have to kind of program it and, and you know specify what kind of battery it is. We were just talking about Saft batteries, and this one is a 3.6 volt battery. Maybe the one that you're installing or you had installed before that had a different voltage because it was a different brand or you know a different kind of AA battery. And because of that, it is recommended, my recommendation is that you try to stick with the same brand and type of battery. That way, every time you change it, you can just accept the defaults that were there before rather than having to go through the process of reconfiguring the battery every time. If you bought your Petrol 2 computer within the last three years, I would say from 2017 and, and on, um, your Petrol probably brought a radial seal or a O-ring basically on the cap that is blue. Caps before then, before 2017, actually came with a black O-ring. So what does that mean? If you have an O-ring that is blue, don't over tighten the cap. Actually, if you look at Shearwater's record when it comes to customer service and you know the, the petrol tools that they receive, they will tell you that the most frequent reason for cap breakage, basically, when people send them back and they have you know broken the cap, is because they over tighten it. Just tie it until it's snug, and that's all you need. Also, don't try to replace that blue O-ring, that radial seal on your own. Chances are if you try to do that, you will scratch it. And when you take the computer underwater, you'll just basically flood it and damage it. Instead, you can actually ask Shearwater for a new seal every year for free. Or if you're like me, just send it in for service. They'll replace the seal and they'll give you a brand new battery on top of it. Um, also, one last thing. 
the caps that come with the petrol, the one with the black O-ring and the one with the blue one are not interchangeable. If you grab the wrong cap, if you have different models, for example, like mine, for example, has a four pin wire connector for my rebreather. If you happen to have one, maybe when you were a tech diver in open circuit and you exchange them, like put the one with the black O-ring on this one, the computer will flood too. So do not interchange the caps between the different petrol models. Make sure you have the right one. And again, don't try to replace the seal. Let Shearwater take care of it. Now, look, if you already broke your cap and you're wondering like, but Gus, I already broke my cap when I over tighten it. Uh, what do I do now? Don't worry. Just reach out to Shearwater and get a new replacement cap. Uh, caps, uh, battery caps, uh, screen protectors, straps, and even the chargers for the computers, the computers that are that have internal batteries that can be charged, are free from shear water if you broke the one out of the factory or if it stopped working. Now, I, this is not a policy of shear water. I don't want you guys to reach out to them and be like, I watched Gus's video and he told me to just ask you for free stuff. That's not how it works. Uh, if you broke something, like if you snapped the strap because, I don't know, you got tangled and you broke it on purpose or whatever it is, just buy one from your local dive shop and support them, right? They're vendors of Shearwater, so get one. But if you don't live near one, or if it's not convenient for you to find a place where you can buy a replacement, reach out to Shearwater. They'll most likely replace it for you. They have the best customer service in the world, so I think they're going to do it. However, again, this is not a public policy of Shearwater. They're not just going to send free stuff for no reason. Um, just keep that in mind. Tip number seven is to stay up to date with firmware updates. Shearwater works hard to improve the operating system and the user experience. They've actually introduced a few features that a lot of people don't know about, either because they haven't updated their operating system or they just don't know that those features are there because they're new. And I will be bringing those up on the next video probably that I do about Shearwater. But for now, check often if there's an upgrade to the firmware on your computer and update them if that's the case. One of the most misunderstood computers from Shearwater is actually one of my favorites, and that is the Nerd 2. One of the important things to know about the Nerd is that you need to cover the screen if you're not diving. And that's because there's a magnifying glass sitting right above the display. And if the sun hits it for a while, you could actually burn the display and damage it. So what I did is instead of carrying these caps around because I know I'm going to lose it, is I went to Amazon and for less than $10, I bought this rifle scope lens cover. It sits pretty well on it and check this out. When I need to dive, I just flip it open. And whenever I'm back on the boat, snap it shut. Doesn't get any easier than that. When it comes to sheer water computers with a built-in battery like the Nerd 2, the Peregrine, or the Tarek, I follow the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule says I don't charge my computers unless they have less than 80% battery, but I also don't put them away if they have less than 20. Like any electric device, both battery levels or low battery levels and number of charging sessions will shorten the battery life eventually. And finally, tip number 10, both the Taric and the Peregrine can be charged on third-party Qi compliant chargers. Like this one in Woody's Tesla. A very huge, massive, humongous thanks to Richard and Michelle Morton from Divetronics. They are the authorized service center for Shearwater in the US and I always send my, my computers to them for service. They do an amazing job. I love to get my computers back and they have a brand new battery. They have a brand new screen protector. They even come in a brand new case. They do an amazing job. So if you live in the US and you haven't serviced your Shearwater computers in a while, please, please, please reach out to Divetronics, send them to them. Uh, they will do the maintenance, they'll take care of it. Uh, they do such an amazing job. So huge shout out to Richard specifically. Uh, most of the tips that you see on this list, I learned from him, just interactions with, with him and talking to him. So please make sure you do that. If you're not in the US, obviously find your local service center for Shearwater and send your computers in. It's important that we do maintenance on these and that they stay on top shape. I mean, computers are super important for diving. So just make it happen, guys. Also, thank you so much to Shearwater Research for creating and making these amazing dive computers that we all rely on and we all love. If you're a dive professional and you've been diving with Shearwater computers for a while, if you have any tips that I didn't mention on my top 10, 
please go ahead and feel free to share those with people down on the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take advantage of the opportunity right now and smash that subscribe button. Help us grow this channel. We want to continue to share tips and tricks and also some entertaining videos with our Cave Diver React series. Um, we want to obviously share our love for diving with everyone around the world. And when you subscribe, not only you are you know helping us grow the channel and visibility and helping us with a YouTube algorithm, but also uh, helping us get rid of some of the stuff that we want to give away. So we're going to be giving away some of these items that, that we've been gathering for testing purposes or items that we even own. We want to be able to give them away to those who subscribe to the channel and help us grow. Uh, I hope to see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Learn some new things if you're a Shearwater owner, and we'll see you on the next one.